Hello, food enthusiasts, and welcome to another delightful episode on our YouTube channel, Instacooking. Today, we're going to delve into the art of mastering pancake perfection. Pancakes, oh, how we love them. They're not just a breakfast staple, but a dessert delight as well. They're loved universally, and for a good reason too. Now what if I told you, you could make them right in your kitchen and with finesse. Intriguing, right? So tighten your apron strings and get ready to dive into the world of pancake making. First things first, you need to know what goes into making these fluffy wonders. To whip up the perfect pancakes, you'll need all-purpose flour, a couple of teaspoons of baking powder, a pinch of salt, a tablespoon of sugar, a cup of milk, one large egg, and a splash of vanilla extract for that irresistible aroma. If you're going eggless, replace the egg with half a mashed banana or a quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce for a delightful twist. Now let's talk measurements. You'll need one and a half cups of flour and a cup of milk. Remember, accurate measurements are key to achieving that perfect pancake consistency. As for substitutions, if you're out of all-purpose flour, whole wheat flour will do just fine. And if you're looking to cut down on sugar, honey, or agave nectar are great alternatives. Choosing quality ingredients is crucial, so opt for organic and fresh options whenever possible. Now that you are well equipped with your ingredients, it's time to move on to the next step. All right, so now we move to the heart of the process, mixing the ingredients. Let's dive right into it, shall we? First, you'll want to take your dry ingredients. That's your flour, baking powder, salt, and sugar. Whisk them together in a large bowl until well combined. This will ensure that your pancakes rise properly and have that sweet touch we all love. Next up, we're going to tackle the wet ingredients. You'll crack your eggs into a separate bowl, add your milk and a splash of vanilla extract. Some people like to add the vanilla for that extra bit of flavor, but this is entirely up to you. Whisk these together until you have a smooth, slightly frothy mixture. Now here's a key step. You'll want to pour the wet ingredients into the dry, but here's the catch. You don't want to overmix. This is crucial for achieving those light, fluffy pancakes we're after. So mix just until the dry ingredients are moistened. It's okay if there are a few lumps, they'll cook out. If you're feeling adventurous, this is the time to add any extras like blueberries or chocolate chips. Just sprinkle them in and gently fold them into the batter. Remember, be gentle, we're not trying to beat the batter into submission. Now let's talk butter. You'll want to melt some butter and let it cool a bit before adding it to the mix. Pour it in and give the batter one final gentle stir. The butter will give your pancakes that delightful golden brown color and a slightly crispy edge. And there you have it, your pancake batter is ready. You should end up with a slightly thick batter that pours easily but still holds its shape. If it's too thick, feel free to add a little more milk. If it's too thin, a bit more flour should do the trick. With your batter ready, we're halfway through our pancake journey. Stay tuned as we move on to the next exciting stage, cooking these delightful pancakes. Now comes the thrilling part, cooking the pancakes. Let's dive right in. We've got our batter all mixed and ready, so it's time to bring the heat. Start by warming your pan over medium heat. You don't want it too hot or your pancakes will burn before they're cooked through. And too cold, well, they'll just sit there, not becoming the golden fluffy delights we're after. A drop of water should sizzle and evaporate quickly when your pan's at the right temperature. Once your pan is heated, lightly grease it with some butter or oil. This will prevent your pancakes from sticking and give them a nice crispy edge. Now, carefully pour a ladle full of batter onto the center of the pan. You can make your pancakes as large or small as you like, but remember, the larger they are, the trickier they can be to flip. Here's where patience comes in. You're going to want to flip that pancake the second it hits the pan. Resist the urge. Wait until you see bubbles forming on the surface and the edges start to look set. That's your cue. Give it a quick, confident flip. Don't be discouraged if your first pancake isn't perfect. It's a test pancake, a chance to adjust your heat and timing. After the flip, let your pancake cook for another minute or two until it's golden brown and cooked through. If you're unsure, you can sneak a peek at the underside with a spatula. Just be careful not to tear your pancake. Now repeat the process with the remaining batter, re-greasing the pan as necessary. Remember, practice makes perfect, and soon you'll be flipping pancakes like a pro. A quick note of caution, watch out for potential pitfalls like overflipping your pancakes or leaving them unattended. Pancakes require your full attention, so no multitasking. And voila, 
Your pancakes are cooked, but wait, we're not done yet. Up next, we'll talk about how to serve these beauties and make your breakfast truly Instagram worthy. So stick around. Pancakes are not just about the batter and cooking. It's also about what you serve them with. Now let's dive into the delightful world of pancake toppings and sides. It's like painting on a blank canvas. The possibilities are endless, starting with the classic, the divine duo of syrup and butter. Drizzle a generous amount of maple syrup over your fluffy pancakes and top it off with a dollop of creamy butter. Watch as it melts, creating a pool of sweet and salty goodness. This traditional combo never fails to impress. For those who love a pop of freshness, fruits are a fantastic option. Sliced bananas, juicy berries, or tart apples can add a refreshing twist, and not to mention it gives your pancakes a vibrant, Instagram-worthy appeal. Don't forget about whipped cream. It's light, it's fluffy, and it adds a delightful creaminess to your pancakes. You can also sprinkle a dash of powdered sugar or cinnamon for an added touch of sweetness and spice. But wait, pancakes aren't just about sweet toppings. Savory options can be equally delicious. Have you ever tried bacon and eggs with your pancakes? The salty, crispy bacon and creamy scrambled eggs create a beautiful balance with the sweet pancakes. It's a hearty breakfast that will keep you satisfied for hours. And for those who like a bit of adventure, why not experiment with unusual combinations, chocolate chips and peanut butter, cream cheese and smoked salmon, or even pulled pork and barbecue sauce. The sky's the limit when it comes to pancake toppings. Remember, the key to a perfect pancake experience is to combine flavors and textures that you love. It's all about creating a harmony of tastes that make your palate dance with joy. So go ahead and let your creativity run wild. Turn your pancake stack into a masterpiece of flavors. Whether you're a fan of the classics or love to experiment, there's a pancake serving suggestion just for you. So that's how you can take your pancake game to the next level. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We started our culinary journey into pancake perfection with a showcase of ingredients, a simple yet potent mix of flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, milk, and eggs. For our vegan friends, we've learned that applesauce or mashed bananas can be a great substitute for eggs, ensuring no one misses out on pancake goodness. We then moved on to mixing these ingredients, a process that requires a delicate balance. The secret, as we've discovered, is not to overmix. A few lumps in the batter are perfectly fine. They ensure a fluffy texture in our pancakes. Remember, it's all about combining the ingredients just enough to moisten the dry ones. Next, we turned up the heat and cooked our pancakes to golden brown perfection. Here, we learned that moderation is key. Too high a heat can burn the pancakes while too low a heat can make them dry and crumbly. The sweet spot, as it turns out, is medium heat. And remember the trick about waiting for the bubbles? Once they pop on the surface and stay open, it's time to flip. Then came the best part, serving the pancakes. We explored a variety of serving suggestions from the classic maple syrup and butter combo to more adventurous options like fresh fruit, whipped cream, or even a sprinkle of powdered sugar. We've seen that the beauty of pancakes lies in their versatility. They are a canvas for your culinary creativity. As we wrap up, let's remind ourselves that the magic of pancake making lies not just in the ingredients but also in the process. It's about finding joy in the mixing, the flipping, the sizzling sound as the batter hits the pan, and the satisfaction when a perfectly cooked pancake lands on your plate. So don't be afraid to experiment with the recipe and serving options to suit your tastes. Maybe you like your pancakes with a hint of cinnamon, or perhaps you prefer them with a dollop of Nutella. The possibilities are endless, and the kitchen is your playground. Thank you for joining us today on Insta Cooking. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep flipping those pancakes, and soon you'll be a pancake pro.